Today I'm going to demonstrate the workflow for administering warfarin to patients on a ward and also outlining the observations associated to this. So if, to start off, I'm going to open up my patient access list and I've also already assigned my test ward to it. As I can see here, I've got some medications to at 12 and 1. If I wanted to review what those medications were, I can double click. And this tells me I've got a warfarin prescribing reminder due for this patient. This is a placeholder to remind um, nursing staff that the patient is taking warfarin and to ensure that it's prescribed. So now I'm going to right click and open up my medication record. If I right click on the patient's name, I'm going to open record <coughs> and click on med summary, medication summary. That's going to open up. Um, this patient's medication record. So I can see here some different doses that have been prescribed. I can see that yesterday they had five milligrams of warfarin given at 18.45 and someone recorded an INR at that time of 2.3. I can also see that there's a warfarin prescribing reminder due for today at 1 o'clock. But I can also see that today's warfarin has been prescribed and for illustrative purposes today this dose has been scheduled for 12 o'clock, although typically warfarin is given at 6 p.m. So the first thing we're going to do is to sign off this warfarin prescribing reminder because we know that warfarin has been charted for today by the doctor. To do that, if I go into Meds Administration, I double click on the warfarin prescribing reminder task. If you're doing it two hours outside, you can just press the other for an override reason. And I'm going to type in the, number, the amount of warfarin that the doctor has prescribed for this patient. Just to reiterate, this is not administration of warfarin. This is just actioning the task to remind me to check that the patient's warfarin has been prescribed for today. So I'm going to sign that off, press in the green tick and refresh my screen. So now I'm going to move on to the administration of this patient's warfarin. So the first thing I need to do is to check the patient's allergies. So I'll navigate firstly back to medication summary. I can see in the top left hand corner of the banner bar this patient has no known allergies. If this patient did have an allergy, I could click on this and it would give me a list of the substances they are allergic to or have side effects to in this display here. I can also, when in meds administration, right click on the dose and check if there's been any alert history. The type of alert history you might get would be allergy alerts or interaction alerts. But as this is dithered out in grey, I know that there's been no alerting that's fired to the doctor when they've prescribed this medication. If I wanted to find out more clinical information about warfarin, I can right click and press reference manual. And this will give me some information on how it works, any warnings associated to it, pregnancy, lactation information, um, side effects information which could be useful for counselling a patient, um, and some common dosage information. So now I've clinically reviewed my chart, I'm going to actually have a look at the patient's assessment and OBS and review any INRs that have been documented for the patient. So if I go into assessment and OBS and I open up adult medication monitoring, there's a section called warfarin monitoring. This blue banner bar can be changed to display more values and it typically starts with last 24 hours. If I right click on this, I can change this to last 72 hours and see more information. So I can actually see here that this patient's had warfarin orally, two doses of five milligrams, one on the 12th, one on the 14th. I can also note here that the patient's INR target range is between 2 and 3. And if there have been any lab results that have been returned for the patient under prothrombin time and INR for warfarin therapy, or prothrombin time and INR blood, I would also see these in these boxes here. There's now also a, a mechanism to document point of care INR, and this could be for um, areas that use point of care INR machines or where the patient has their own machine where they can take their own INR. 
If you wish to document this, you can right click, add result, and type in the information. Okay, I'm now happy that I want to proceed and administer warfarin. So I'm going to navigate back to medication summary. And I'm going to firstly pick up my warfarin either from my drug cupboard or the patient's bedside locker and bring it to the bedside. Now when I'm at the bedside, I'm going to press the medication administration button. At this point, I'm going to scan the patient's wristband. If I scan the wrong patient's wristband, I would get an alert to say this does not match and it won't let me proceed. If I then find the right patient and scan their wristband, it will open up all the doses that are available for administration for that patient. I only have one milligram tablets available to me, so I'm going to scan those. And once that's completed, it's going to give me a little tick on the left hand side. If I've scanned the right dose, sorry, so I have three milligram tablets available to me. If there was ones, it would, it would warn me that I haven't actually administered or haven't scanned all the components required to make up this dose. So if I was using a point of care INR machine at the point of meds administration, I could document that in here as well, and that will feed back through to the assessment and OBS section. I can also document if this was self-administered by the patient and I witnessed it, or I didn't wit wit witness it. And if there was any lab results, they'd also be available for me in this window here, so I could acknowledge them. So now I've scanned my medication, I'm going to press OK. I'm going to give the medication to the patient, and I could repeatedly scan other medications at this point. And then once the patient's taken their medication, I will press the sign button. If I now refresh the screen, I can see that my warfarin dose for today has been administered. That concludes the presentation on medication administration using warfarin. If you have any questions, please contact us at iclipepma at stgeorges.nhs.uk. And thanks for listening.